We are talking at a time, Mr. President, that coronavirus is nothing to joke about. And yet we still allow the Chinese to get into our country the way they want. Mr. President, I want you to imagine the following. Even before we get into the, some of the effects of this, um, the virus we are talking about, Mr. President, our schools are too crowded, our churches are too crowded, our buses are too crowded, our markets are too crowded. Every place in Kenya is too crowded. Imagine just one person with this virus. What will happen to an entire, entire population of this nation? Mr. President, we cannot afford to look and allow this whole nation go to waste, Mr. President. We challenge you to take quick and immediate action, Mr. President. Tighten all our ports, because this is what happens to other nations. United States of America, United Kingdom, France, India have already tightened their ports and they are making sure that foreign nationals, especially those coming from the nations, which are already victims of coronavirus, are subjected to thorough scrutiny, Mr. President. Who are we? not to do this, Mr. President. We challenge you to rise up, rise to the occasion, and say no. I, I know we owe these people so much, Mr. President. I know we owe these people more than maybe we're not even, more, more than what we can think of paying anytime soon. But Mr. President, we are not going to allow ourselves to be colonized again by these people in the name of debts. You know what, Mr. President? This is how colonization started. And it could be an opportunity for the Chinese to start colonizing us using this terrible disease, Mr. President. We will not afford to treat ourselves. We will not afford our, our medical system and the, the, the entire health system cannot handle this disease, Mr. President. We challenge you. And not just on this matter, Mr. President. We are asking you to rise up to the occasion and also take full charge of the nation. The nation is at mess. Everything is going, it seems to be going in the wrong direction, Mr. Dear President. So, as an angry and a concerned Kenyan citizen, we are asking on behalf of many other people that rise up to the occasion and take charge of the full country, take charge of the healthcare system of this country, take charge of the security of all citizens of this country equally.